welcome to the first episode of Ask Wendy. I thought it'd be kind of nice to um, do video responses to the questions that I have asked uh, multiple times because it's just clear this way. And as you can tell by the title of this video, that this one is about Marmo FAQs. So for all you Marmo lovers out there, this one's for you. So I picked out 10 questions that have been asked about, so let's dive into it. Question number... Now I'm going to read questions off of here. Uh, what is the point or purpose of a Marmo? Well, there's, uh, I guess, two major reasons for having a Marmo. Uh, the first one would be, um, there's a love story actually um, that was, you know, heard in Japan that long ago there was um, a commoner who was in love with a princess and but you know they couldn't be together because of their background so they both ran away together and one day all that was found was a pair of maramals so these marmal balls is a symbol for for love, for everlasting love, or friendship, or relationship, um, and they, it's also believed that they bring you good fortune. Um, and they're also just, you know, just the silly little fun, like science-looking, like green fluff ball, right? <laughs> and they're just so easy to care for. So it's just a nice little addition to your um, your plant collection, or just a, a little fun ball to to have and you know, as a pet. So, uh, yeah. And another reason is that it is actually purposeful. They, uh, marmos help out, they outcompete um, the algae that grows along like the, your aquarium walls. So some people that ha would actually keep them in their fish tanks to help um, purify the water and, and to like eliminate or, or reduce the, the algae that grows along the, the tank walls. Question number can marmos live in tap water? Well, uh, I don't recommend it just because um, I don't know where you're at and some places like where, I, where I'm at, um, the tap water is actually quite uh, high with chlorine. Like when I pour water into a bucket, I can smell the, pour, the chlorine as if I'm, I'm like near a swimming pool. And the chlorine can harm the marmal, so I recommend using uh, filtered tap water at least. So that's what I use, filtered tap water. Otherwise, it's like bottled drinking water, distilled water. That's that's all fine too. Question number: What temperature should the marmal be in? Um, I, it's usually recommended between like low 60s to like low 80s uh, Fahrenheit and um, that's usually like room temperature but it can go even lower than that because in the summer it's, uh, it's some places that are really hot some people even like to like stick the marmal um, the whole marmal of course with the water um, in the refrigerator to chill it for a while so and I think the refrigerator temperature is like in the low 40s or something so they can definitely take a little cooler water but they prefer cool than warm so uh, even though you know like low 80s is fine I wouldn't recommend it I would definitely try to keep it under 80 degrees um, I'd want it to be like the water not even be like lukewarm preferably uh, it's, it's just safer for the marmal because um, they they do like originate from the lakes in Japan and that's you know the water there is quite cool and or cold even in the winter it would uh, freeze over so you can imagine the water is quite cold but yes they like the water cool or cold but not frozen okay <laughs> question number what is the green film in my tank um, Green film is usually when the water is too warm, it would just start like a different type of algae would start to grow and it would even like kind of surround your marmal or you can see the film like floating around in, in the water. And all you do is um, just, you know, give a, your marmal a gentle rub over, like run it over in water and just give it a, a rub and clean it. Um, and that's it. Just try to keep your water uh, cool. Question number, can they live with beta or shrimps? 
Yes, they, um, in fact, they are quite compatible with shrimps and betas. Um, I have mine with a beta and I've had mine for like a year and a half or two years. Um, and my beta loves it, it just likes to like snuggle with it. Um, and the marble gives it oxygen in the water too, so that's great for, for like fish. Uh, and shrimp actually helps to um, eat the debris, so it helps to clean up your marble. Um, so yeah, just if you want to add a fish or a shrimp or any kind of living organism or living things with your marmo, just uh, make sure the tank is uh, is big enough for you know whatever s uh, species you're going to introduce into the tank.